so here we are let me do my little intro first what it is you guys it is yo girl cadillac yes i'm cadillac dixon i'm the drama life prison wife i'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice hoping to see justice before all face to black yes it's your girl cadillac first of all i was just driving to the library reviewing the video that i was doing of um drawing miss regina the ruler and realized that girl i have started talking about something it got so sidetracked so i don't really be having notes and stuff when i'm doing my videos girl i just ramble off the top of my head which probably i shouldn't be doing that girl. <laughs> but that's just what i do right now but um i have forgot that i started to tell a little story time so yeah i got off into that legally blind rant but the whole purpose was i remember one time when i worked in a theme park and i would have on my contacts i have these um rigid hard contacts and that's where i went off i detoured right there girl <laughs> you probably like girl you never told the story <laughs> But that's the purpose. That's that's why it's good to rewatch your videos. Don't just put them out. I rewatch them things and stuff. But um, yeah, so we had like a seating program. So during the lunchtime, our restaurant in the theme park would be super duper busy because it was more like a food court where you can get all sorts of different foods. So people would rather go there than to go to different restaurants. You know what I'm saying? So I have during that time you got to see what you're doing uh because you don't want to I tried I'd be falling over people running into people I remember another time girl don't let me get lost right here but I want to tell you this quick story <laughs> where I was in the doorway we would have to greet the guests and show them which way to go through the line because if not if they come in and wander through the restaurant girl they're gonna be all over the place in the way so it was one guy I was waving him right this way, right this way. And I seen I can see somewhat um like watercolors is very blurry. A lot of times I can't see gender. I can see your color because color is what sticks out to me. So I can see a big brown spot when it's you approaching me, whatever. So I knew the man wasn't moving, but I was trying to motion him to line that way, line that way. And he wouldn't move. Someone says, geez, lady, he's blind. And I'm like, oh, I'm blind, too. <laughs> That's crazy. Like They literally thought I was just being a heartless soul because he was blind and I'm just steady moving him along. But girl, I couldn't even see him because I'm blind, too. <laughs> well, I'm legally blind. I could see, but barely. <laughs> but that's with my contacts. Without my contacts. With my contacts, your girl can see pretty much, girl. <laughs> um, but that was the thing. Like, so I would take them out to rest. So I went out. We had this trailer behind our restaurant that um you can go get your it was the paper cups, the little boats and stuff that we put our food in, the papers, the paper liners and all of that. So we would go out to the, when it was boring, we would go out there. I would be, my mind goes a million times a moment because I'm writing songs in my mind. I'm coming up with YouTube videos. Back then I was in graphic design school. So I was coming up with design concepts. So I always keep a little piece of paper in my little front pocket. And when it's slow like that or in my apron, I can go to thinking and writing stuff because I don't like wasting time. And I feel like being at work sometimes is just a waste of your life, honestly, because it's never going to get you out of the situation you're in. It's just going to barely make you be able to barely make it in that situation. That's why I am opposed to all this nine to five working. Um, so I go out to the trailer. I took out my contact and I had this little, um, what do you call those things? A dolly. I had a dolly with me so I could take the boxes of stuff back up front. And girl... I couldn't see, but I'm like, what's that thing right there? It was some, as I approached the um, the trailer, it was just like a black spy. And I'm like, that don't look right. That don't look box shaped. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> and as I got closer, I realized that thing was a snake sitting curled up right in front of the darn trailer girl i could have walked right up on him stepped on his tail ain't like i could say excuse me mr snake i'm a snake i'm legally blind and i can't barely see you anyway no he finna bite me first and then we gonna have words later 
Like for real. <laughs> As, I, as soon as I noticed that there was a snake, I took off running. It was so funny. I, I know I'd be funny because people be laughing at me all the time. I took off running and it never dawned on me to Kita, leave the dolly. You don't need that dolly. It worry about your life. I had the dolly in my hand just running. <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, that's what that had reminded me of. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do my hair this evening. So this is my day off. We got to cram everything into it so i bought this less jam i use this this is actually almost like an edge control but we always use jam back in the day like for real girl my mama introduced me to less jam but i like it for locks because it holds it's not a hard hold it is not like um that beeswax that builds up though my homeboy i twist his um locks t-rex he does like to use beeswax but i like this i had tried this when i did um there's a dj here in orlando area i did her locks um miss dj knee cd if i could find that video i can link that in the description box but she didn't want that hard hold in her hair she didn't want the build up or whatever that may have came from using that so we tried this out girl and it, it worked pretty good so I'm going to use it to twist my locks up later today. So right now, I'm about to go into the library and I'm going to do some research on um, starting my business, like legitimately starting my business. Girl, it, it I feel... <sighs> but we just got to forget about all about the past. I got to have amnesia when it comes to the past. Because my past experiences want to come up. But I'm ready to make it move forward. That prayer that the pastor prayed for me yesterday when I went to church. He asked, what do you want from God? And I said, I want two things. I want my career, which is my business. And I want my husband home. And he did two separate prayers for each of those. And for me, what keeps me in bondage is remembering the past. I have got to forget the past. And it's really hard, but day by day, hopefully I can forget the past. So we're going to go in there and start researching. But to be honest with you, I feel way behind. I graduated um, graphic design school two years ago. Um, really, yeah, in 2020, I started, but that's really because it wasn't quite the shutdown yet. So it's two years and something ago. Um, I was in my last semester. I did graduate two years ago. And I think if I had just completed my um, school and went straight into job search, because that's part of your curriculum, you have to find jobs and stuff. Um, I think when the 2020 shutdown happened, it threw me off my rocker and we just had to survive at that point. So I had to keep the job that I was in when nobody out there looking for no graphic design. It was bare minimum. Like we need the necessary workers. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of graphic designers out of jobs. And the only ones that really were keeping their jobs were the top, 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 top graphic designers, not the newbies that are 39 years old graduating with no job experience as a graphic designer. And because of that, I think I got too caught up in back to nine to five working that I've let two years get away from me now, girl. And I want to cry about them two years, but I can't. Marcello ain't going to let me cry about him. He's like keto. That was the past. It's over. But it's hard for me to forget that that felt like another failure. <laughs> So I'm going to go in and do some research. But before I do, I do want to do a short little story time um, because we were talking about my locks. Um, because you get to start my lock journey with me. I do think as a designer and as an artist, this is going to be far better for me to have locks. Number one, not the way they look now. This don't look like designer, girl. I don't know what this looks like. <laughs> but I could have them done really nicely, neatly, if I keep up with them in a the correct way. And um, they're actually professional. They're accepted in the professional area now. Um, so I had a story time about once upon a time when locks dreads whatever you want to call them 
even sometimes braids were not accepted when we were discriminated against because of our hair types not just our colors our hair types so that same theme park i was working in a restaurant the same restaurant and i had i used to do these things called we called them silky dreads back in the day i don't know what the heck they call these things i think they call them faux locks or fox locks or something i don't know what they call them they do the same styles that we do but that we did in the 90s and stuff like that but they give them new names so i don't be knowing what they call but i know how to do them girl if i can find on my facebook a picture of me with my um my silky dreads girl i was good at them and a lot of people couldn't do them because at the end they would get frayed so i used to try <clears throat> I'm a type that when I run into a problem, I try and try and try until I find a solution to that problem. So I knew, and then also they would like to slide from the root. The hair that you wrapped around them would like to slide down. So I experimented, experimented, and found all the different types of ways, and I finally knew how to do it perfectly. But people didn't really wear that style no more. I guess styles go around on a, like a carousel. It goes in style, it goes out of style, and then it comes back around back in style. So me, I don't keep up with the styles like that. I'm, I'm just a person that's easy going. If I feel like it fits me, it fits me. If it don't fit me, it don't fit me or whatever. I'm not looking at style and trends, which to be a cosmetologist but y'all know i'm not because my co i am a cosmetologist i hold that that title i'm a licensed cosmetologist but i'm not acting because my carpal tunnel ugh, my disability is holding me back but um you know you're supposed to stay up on trends even with graphic design you got to stay up on trends because that's what is in you can't go designing something that looks like it's from way back in the day you know you got to be fresh even if it is a spin on an old style you have to know how to make it still look modern which is crazy but um so i had put these silky dreads in my hair and it takes me a long time to do my hair when i would do it i would do it piece by piece i might work on it two hours one day two hours the next day two hours and eventually my hair would get done because i because of the nerve damage and the carpal tunnel and arthritis in my hands i can't just sit there and do all that hair like that like i used to can okay so i finally got my hair up it was so pretty i had so many compliments on my silky dreads and everybody's like dang who did your hair and i would try as a cosmetologist you are your walking billboard that's how i would get all my leads because of people seeing my hair like oh my gosh i'm getting leads now because people seeing money hair and they're like oh my gosh who did your hair but then it was one girl that asked money in the store who did your hair and she was like my mom and the girl looked at me and was like oh okay like she ain't want to come to me because look at my hair girl my hair like this because i'm tired and going to bed but if you want me to do some hair i can do some hair you know what i'm saying so um i you get leads dang that how do you in lower and lower like that they be lower and lower sorry to see that's how my mind just flows all over the place <laughs> But people are taking notice of money here. They really like it. I've been doing money here. My nephew Isaiah, I always do my homeboy T-Rex. And now I'm noticing myself doing a lot of dread twists, a lot of lock twists. Like, girl, maybe I might have enough um, strength in my hand to just specialize in that. I don't know. We can see where that goes. Um, but anyways, back to the story. So I put the locks in and they were so beautiful everybody took notice of this but meanwhile this is not the style this is the style that we wore in the 90s so i had it in for a while i had it in like you could wear it maybe a good two months or so even if you if you keep freshening them up it will look good for a long time but you don't want to leave them in too long till they lock for real and that's what happened to me now my hair really locked for real because i had them twists in too darn long that they turned into dreads and i finally detached the twist that was that situation that was going on that y'all probably was talking about your girl y'all ain't know what that was i ain't know what it was girl <laughs> So, 
I wasn't gonna take it down. I was gonna leave it up. It looked really nice. I don't have to do my hair too often. And let me tell you, it was this, I had a manager and now he was raw. He, he was, ooh, he was from Chicago. And I remember when I first came to that job, it was my cousin, D underscore Almighty Matt brought me there because I was having issues with my carpal tunnel in another part of the park, the theme park. See, my disabilities have held me back so much in my freaking life. Like, I wish they would just let me go. Um, so I go back there and when he tells me, basically, I thought I was just walking people from the front to the table, which it is. He, and the underscore Mighty Mac, he's real. He was like, you can't walk a bee to the table? Like, come on, you can walk a bee to the table. I thought my corporate tunnel was going to be A-OK -okay just walking bees to the table. But no, I still had an issue with the carpal tunnel because of certain things that they had me doing, um, just walking the bees to the table. Because that ain't what you do all day long. You have to do a lot of other stuff. Okay, so I had my hair, this guy, so he would tell me, the manager, he was like, you can't do it. It's not like it's brain surgery. I'm like... Yeah, I know it ain't brain surgery, but it's still kind of hard for me. And plus, I can't see. And I never would like to tell people about my disabilities, my legally blindness or whatever. I would just learn um, the area. I would learn stuff. I learned ways to get around it. And you may never find out that I'm legally blind. Like, I got a whole nother story of how my current job found out I'm legally blind, which is crazy. Because I sure wouldn't go and tell them nothing. <laughs> but, um, so... He's like crazy. He, he's out there. He's going to say what he wants to say. Because he was like, you can't walk. Up. No, he said, um, you can't find a table. It's not brain surgery. Like, that's how he literally. So when things were running smooth, he was A-OK. -okay. When things weren't running smooth, this man go to pace and he going out the back. He's smoking. He's like, hey, you can't do this right. He would just throw them insults. And you'd be like, is he for real? So one day he sees my hair and he's like, dang, that's really nice. Your hair is really nice. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm surprised because I don't have conversations with, um, I'm the type that stay far away from management. I am not the type to um, be up under them. And you know how some people try to play up to the manager. That is not me at all. I want to stay far away from the manager. I ain't trying to intermingle. I don't talk to you longer than I need to talk to you. That's how I am. So he's like, your hair is really nice. And I'm like, well, I haven't had this in a long time. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. And then go on and I see, take the next B to the table, right? Like, why are we talking? Why are we conversating like this? So it's another manager out there. Now this one, you know how you got some managers that are all right and some that are exactly by the book. The way they wrote that book, that's the way they... Uh, tooth and nail by that book you got CEOs like that for my prison wise you know you got some of the CEOs that's like oh, okay well you know that's reasonable that's re and some are like no because of this da, 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 this says this and you're gonna do this da, 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 just by the book so it's the same thing that like out there with managers so this one she was by the book we gonna call her Peyton and we're going to call the other guy, what can we call him? Don. We'll just call him Don. And she's Peyton. So there's two managers. So there's two folks I need to be avoided, girl, because I don't play with management like that. <laughs> so Don asked me about my hair. Hey, Kita, your hair looks nice. What's that in your hair? And I said, silky dreads. And Peyton looked like, Whoop, what? silky what i said silky they call them silky dreads she's like oh no 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 you can't have dreads no the book and and the 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 drive description the code by such and such such said no dreads allowed and i said but they just call them silky dreads they're not really dreads they're not actually dreads they're not even mine they're not even attached in my head i can you know and she was like, nope, because they're called Silky Dreads, you have to, I literally should be sending you home now. And I, I had them in for a good two months. I literally was about to take them out, but I just ain't had time. Because I know I'm, I'm opening a big can of worms, a big job for me to do. 
And she's like, yep, I'm literally supposed to send you home right now because you're out of dress code. You can't have dreads. And I'm like, what? I'm literally like blown away. Like, huh? I can't have th these ain't even dreads. Then my daughter, when I seen another girl, I happened to see another girl with her. And I'm like, how all of a sudden this girl got this? But this ain't even a style. I did not know that carousel came around and people were doing that again. That was a style again. And I had to happen to have done them in the time that that style came back around. And she was like, yeah, we just made such and such. Take that, take that out. And someone came up to me again. Oh, they let you have that? They told me I couldn't have those. And I'm like, what? Like, are you kidding me? This old A style, we can't wear this. And they're not even real dreads. And so um, they made me take my hair out. Like, I was hurt, but I was finna take them out anyway. So let me tell you. Now, they have that company since have updated their job code their, um, and stuff. And now, the workers are allowed to have locks. Back then, they said we could only have braids, but we're allowed to have locks now. That is a come up because this is not just a hairstyle for many. For many, this is a heritage. Not just hair, but heritage. And you're telling me... In my heritage, I got to only have straight styles. Well, straight styles are not my heritage unless I'm willing to straighten my hair with relaxers, which now they're finding out that these relaxers call all, cause all kinds of health issues, which I'm glad I stopped relaxing my hair way back when I was in hair school, girl. And I never put a relaxer in Money's hair. Money has always had her natural hair. Now, girl, that, that didn't work well with that carpal tunnel. But money always had that natural head of hair. Um, but, or we would have to flat iron our hair to death. or And that causes breakage. Like, girl, heat and all of that. Like, our hair is not really meant to be straight. If it was meant to be straight, it would be straight. I'm not saying that you can't wear your hair straight, but it's harder to keep maintain your hair in straight styles than to maintain your hair in locks. That's going to be a much easier battle for me, um, keeping my hair in locks. And I'm so glad that now that there have been so many African Americans, and I even see a lot of Hispanic cultures wearing locks now. And shout out to Miss Christina Randall. She was one of my favorite um, YouTubers that was dead time at Florida DOC. And she had locks. She is Caucasian. So, I mean, yes, it's a heritage, not just hair. And I'm glad that they're starting to open their eyes to that. Because a lot of people in different jobs, like when you apply for these jobs, they automatically discriminate. You can't even apply for certain jobs with certain types of hairstyles. Even back when Marcello had his locks and he was looking for a job. Um, he wanted to work at a water park that was going to hire him. But they was like, first thing, you got to cut your hair off. Got to cut your dreads. You can't have no dreads. So I'm glad that we're moving. We are taking steps. We're taking the smallest baby steps forward. But we are moving forward. All right, guys. With that said, I'm going to do the same thing. Take the smallest baby steps forward <laughs> to my business. But we are taking steps forward. All right. It's your girl, Cadillac.